Why, hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us here at Dish and Days for Emmy Week. That's right. We get to speak to your favorite nominees from our favorite show, Days of Our Lives. And this talented person is no exception. We are uber happy to see that she's been nominated again for another Daytime Emmy Award for her portrayal as Abigail Devereaux. Please help me welcome Miss Marcy Miller. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. I'm great. How's it going? It's going great. I like. I'm. I'm such a dork. Like. I. Just, like. What is this? Yay! For you. <laughs> but I understood it. I understood yeah, it. I, yeah. I don't know what it is either, but I understood it. <laughs> it is always uh, so great to see you and have a chance to talk to you. You know, I, I've told you on our show. I've told you in person how talented you are and and what you've done with the role of Abigail since you returned uh, well since the character returned and you started portraying her has been amazing and I will always always praise you for for what you've done on the show and especially during the DID storyline like I still talk about it to this day like Anyone that will listen, I'll be like, y'all, this is a girl named Marcy. She's on Days of Our Lives. She had to portray different characters. And sometimes she was playing the character as another character. And she was just amazing. Um, so we were super excited and rightfully so to see that you were listed as a nominee for this year. Um, this is your third Daytime Emmy nomination. Like, how do you feel about the third one? Oh, man. You know, it's crazy because I, I'm so honored by it just because. I mean, I've never won. That's not, I, I mean, but like, it's never been about that, but I really appreciate a consistent, I guess, recognition, you know, like yeah. I, I really can't even express what it means to, to get to be in this group of ladies, you know, I, I just, it's really, truly an honor. So I wasn't expecting it. Very humbled by it. That's for sure. It's kind of like almost embar embarrassing, like in a way, in, as weird as that seems, but. No, you, uh, you know, again, like, and uh, our fans, you know, uh, agree as well, you know, that you, you know, definitely, you know, deserve the nomination and especially, you know, the win. And of course, you know, if I were voting, you would have my vote, you know, so, <laughs> no. um, but, you know, I'm, I'm just me, so I don't get to vote unless, you know, I would be like, Marcy Miller, come on that's now. it. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you better not say that in any of the other interviews. <laughs> uh, as long as they're not in your category, I won't. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Um, so with this, I, does it get any easier to prepare for like submitting to the Emmys? Because, you know, you have to keep track for like, mm -hmm. you know, an entire year, like all of those clips that you want to include. Um, and, you know, this is your third time doing this. Did, did it get any easier this go round? Did you have uh, an idea of how to, you know, collect your clips and remember your clips uh, so that when it came time for Emmy submissions, you were ready. Walk us through that, your, your thought process Actually, for this year. Ironically, I think it was the hardest this year that it's ever been. Um, mm -hmm. I am not naturally like a very organized person. I ain't got it together. So I'm not like keeping track all throughout the year of my work and, and what I think could be worthy things to consider for this time of year. Um, so almost every year, I just have to start from square one, start from scratch, and just like thumb through the entire year's work. And this year in particular, because I have a baby and all these other things, and I I was even less so because my brain and everything I, I had other priorities, so I wasn't I was even less able to say organized. So so me choosing my um, clips this year is just like me in the wee hours of the morning and mm -hmm. night when she's like asleep and I've got a spare moment and I'm like pumping on the couch or whatever <laughs> like looking through like literally okay that was January 13 okay now I'm gonna watch January 14 now January 15 like literally it was that uh, that sort of specific so oh so yeah I know but we got through it and it was great yeah. and I'm so glad that I did I felt like I was able to really put stuff submit things that i felt good about and and yeah. represented myself in the story well so yeah what did you want to show the voters this year because you know again you know there's there's so much stuff you know you, you went through so many clips and so many things mm -hmm. but at but as you were collecting them like 
did you have a moment of like, you know what, I want to make sure that I show them this, you know, you always want to show your great work, but did you have something specific in mind that you really wanted to show them, especially, you know, being nominated two times before it's like, Mm -hmm. what are they not seeing? Like, what, what do I need to show them? Did you, did you feel like Mm -hmm. you wanted to show them something specifically this, this go round? I wanted to show something that was really honest, you know, it's easy because you can, you can kind of come across the takes and the scenes where you think like, oh, that could be a quote Emmy scene. You know, you have these large moments that are um, in, in the storylines and, and you kind of know when you're getting ready to film them, like, oh, this has the potential to be one of those. And, yeah. and I kind of just wanted to, to make sure whatever I was submitting was honest and whether it meant I was submitting the large moments or I was submitting, you know, me and me and Billy having a, a great conversation, you know, and, and um, yeah, I just, I guess I wanted to make sure I was submitting things I wanted to submit and not what yeah. I thought other people wanted me to submit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, so there's an array, there's a wide range. I mean, I have moments in there that are the big moments and then I have, some things that are more subtle and simple and um yeah you always also want to submit a range you know like you got the blah, yeah. blah, 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 moment and yeah. you got the blah, 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 with like a one little thing coming down you know it's also <laughs> yeah fun which which clip were you like yeah this is it this is the one this is the one that's gonna get them there were two i guess that i really liked the one there's one scene that i did where i'm confronting gwen for having been um with chad in the hotel room overnight and this is not like a huge outward moment but i really remember feeling it internally as we were taping it um it's it's the moment where she's like well i don't know if you you know it seems to me like last night you would have shacked up with them because that would have been a really great opportunity and then in the moment she realizes like wait but did did you 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 know so it's like that that transition you know i Mm -hmm. i really liked that moment shooting that moment um and then but and it's not explosive you know but i do remember feeling it and i feel like i see what i was feeling and so then and then there's the the um scene with emily and matt ashford Um, when I'm talking to Gwen about, um, I find out Gwen is pregnant. I found out she was pregnant and I offered to take her to get the abortion and everything. And Matt Ashford, you know, Matt's character, man, like, I feel like I wanted him to be in my corner and to be Mm -hmm. on my side, like for, and and throughout that whole thing, he felt like he needed to be like lean in Emily's direction, yada, yada, yada. Character names, but but he says we do the same. When yeah, I know I didn't ever know. He says, Abigail, stop! It's a lot for her to take in. Like she just found out she was pregnant, and he's totally unaware of like. Can, I'm, I feel like in this moment, I was just like, what? Like, can anybody for like a split second acknowledge what I'm taking in? This b i t c h just like stop yeah. with my husband is. I'm finding out she's pregnant. Like I'm losing my mind here, and yeah. so she sort of has that. What about I'm, what about what I'm taking in? Yeah, yeah. So, no, those are, those, uh, those are like the moments <laughs> with, with you and, and Emily and just this like combative, like sister versus sister, like, you know, mm-hmm. what are you doing here? You know, moments are, are, are really good. Um, do you think if, if Gwen hadn't done all that she did, mm-hmm. that Abigail would have accepted her as mm. her, her sister? Yeah, I do. I mean, if all of that wrongdoing was not there, I mean, I mean, because in spite of all of the wrongdoing, I think Abby has tried to at least respect the fact that like, oh, like you don't need to come near me. We don't need to be friends. You're my father's daughter, so you can be that, but that's it, you know? So, mm-hmm. so yeah, I definitely think Abby would have accepted her. I, I'm sure it would have been a transition and maybe uncomfortable and they'd have had their moments and, and, and things. And, and I'm sure there'd have been hurt on both sides, but I think, yeah, she definitely would have made that effort at least. Yeah. Um, we have a, a, a special guest uh, who is tuning in now, who you are familiar with. Uh, little Mr. Carrie Christopher <gasps> says, hi. Carrie, hi, buddy. <laughs> How are you? Oh my gosh. Hi. So adorable, oh right? So, so adorable. Cute. 
what a sweet, oh my gosh. And for those I of you who are movie. not familiar, uh, Carrie plays uh, Thomas, uh, mm-hmm. who is Abigail's son, and uh, Chad's son as well. Um, so Carrie says, hello. So oh, good to see you oh, in the so chat, Carrie. Um, so now you began playing Ab- uh, Abigail back in 2016. Mm-hmm. How would you describe Abigail's journey since mm. you started playing her? Because, you know, when she first came back, she had just came back, you know, after being away and, and recovering and everything like that. And mm-hmm. it's definitely been, you know, such a journey. And I'm sure it's been a journey for you as well, mm-hmm. you know, taking on the character. But um, how would you, you know, describe her journey from two thousand six years ago, from 2016 yes. to now? Yeah, um, I would say, you know, when I first came in, Abby was in a pretty unstable place internally, you know, like Mm -hmm. her mental and emotional state, you know, just in terms of like her literal health and then also like where she stood with her family and, and, and trying to get that all squared away and figured out. I think over time her, she's gained some mental and emotional stability um, mm-hmm. her life has sort of fallen apart. Thankfully, when she was in a stable place, a more stable place, like, you know, I, I feel like right before we started shooting all this stuff with Emily and, um, Abby and Chad were in, in a really good spot, you know, their, re- yeah. their relationship felt pretty great. Um, mm-hmm. they had acknowledged some of their history and ghosts and made peace with it and found ways to move on. Abby was healthy. She had expressed that she felt healthy. She was taking appropriate steps to stay healthy. Um, But then uh, circumstances in life happened and it fell apart. So, so I would say she, you know, stayed in a stressful situation, but it was because (laughs) of um, exterior things that were happening as opposed to what was going on on the interior. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's been, Wow, a, a beautiful journey, um, mm-hmm. and especially one for for you because I really feel like you know you got to shine so many times, you know, throughout Abigail's journey, and and able to show uh, the range that you have as an actress and how true to the character you are, you know, and how you really settle into those moments uh, that that Abby is experiencing, and it's just. Um, it's just very real. You know, it comes across as very like real and you you root for Abigail. You want to hug Abigail. Some people may be mad at Abigail. Like you you just go through this journey with her and it's 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 very beautiful to to always witness and, and see, you know, every time you're on screen. Um, I also have to give a side kudos because I noticed a slight difference in your hairstyle um, oh, yeah. recently. Like there's like it's not quite a bang. But yeah. it's like this nice swoop that comes in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah, I like that. Yeah. I like that. Oh, it, thank you. It makes her. It makes Abigail feel like gr- like more adult, like grown mm-hmm. and settled. Mm-hmm. Like you know, she's a mom. She's a wife. You know, mm-hmm. she's she's better. And you know, she's always been very stylish and and a, a, a very unique person. But like, I was like, oh, I like that. I she like that. What's good on you? Abby and Martin yeah. did a little, little, little revamp, you know? It was, and it was, I was like waiting for the time that it made sense in the story because I was having that feeling of, okay, I had a baby. Had, okay, I'm coming into, okay, things are starting to make sense. What's what's new Marcy look like? And then I was like, okay, let me find where new Abby, what could, where could new Abby start? And then we sort of found yeah. that parallel and snuck it in there, so... It looks it looks really good. Like I'm like every time like she comes around the corner, you know, with her jackets and you know the big purse yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. I'm like, all right, yeah. girl, I see okay. you. Great. I see you. Good. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Give it, a lot of credit to everybody else, but thank you. <laughs> Isn't it crazy though how we notice like the, those little things? Like, uh-huh. oh, it's uh-huh. different. I like uh-huh. it. I like it. Totally. Um, now, if you could give your 2016 self advice on how to play Abigail Mm. based on what you know now, Mm. what advice would you give 2016 Marcy Miller? Mm. Cool question. Um, I definitely, in terms of how to play her, I would just say, 
grab like grab her by both hands don't give two hoots about what anybody else thinks take mm-hmm. her she's yours run like and don't just yeah. run like sprint and sprint hard you know there was i i did the best that i could at the beginning but there was i was nervous a lot of the time about what people would think and mm-hmm. what the network would think and mm-hmm whether I was bridging the gap between Kate and myself and all of these things. And, um, yeah, I think I was a little less confident than I, than I am now. And yeah, yeah, I would, I would switch that up a bit. And I, and I'm sure it's, it's nerve wracking to go to, to become a part of a show and be a recast Mm -hmm. of a show. And, you know, fans have, you know, and, and we've talked about this before, you know, fans have their favorites and, mm-hmm. and, you know, there's suddenly an expectation that like you're not aware of that you have to fulfill, but you're not sure what that expectation is because, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's, you know, her interpretation versus your interpretation, but yeah. somehow you have to meet in the middle so that it makes sense for the character. So mm-hmm. I, I totally understand just going into a feeling like, oh my gosh, like, you know, what, because we all know soap fans, they don't hold back. They got their opinions, you know, yeah. and, and it's part of what's great about it. You know, it's like, there's always a conversation I, I find that seems to be happening, you know, and that's one of the really lovely things about this whole thing. Yeah. Now, Emmys are coming up. Yes. We're like about a, a month away. Uh, what is your preparation leading up to, to the events? Because listen, you are, you are a mom and a wife in real life, (laughs) um, to a beautiful baby girl who's now one. She's she's over one years old now. 14 months. Yeah. So it's a year and a couple months. So what, how, uh, what's your, what's your preparation going to be like leading up to Cause you're going to blink and and June's going to be here. (laughs) I know. I know. We keep saying that over here. Um, well, I so I went shopping yesterday for a dress for the first time with Sal and my daughter. I took my daughter. My daughter has in the last couple of weeks, like all she wants, she wants to wear my clothes. I don't she doesn't care if it's a T-shirt. She doesn't. She like loves dresses. She loves it. So I thought, OK, let me t- let me take her dress shopping with me. I think this will be great. And so she and Sal and I all went yesterday and uh-huh. um, Sal and I were both ready to quit, but she was like ready to keep going. But um, <laughs> uh, Sal and I both like hate shopping, hate it. So we so th- I got to figure out what to wear. That's for mm-hmm. sure. I still have no idea. Um, but then other than that, you know, you try to keep things clean in terms of what you're eating maybe a little more physical activity you want to like yeah. be able to present your best self you know maybe get a little facial maybe yeah. start, grow- start growing out start growing out the nails a little bit you know whatever these kinds of fun things you know because at the end of the time you get to put on a different kind of costume you know you get to do whatever you want to do and oh but also um you know it's a really great time to be intentional and and think about like gosh who are the people that have led me to this place, you know? And yeah, and yeah. Who, how am I here? Why am I here? You know, I always appreciate that and, and getting to connect with other other folks on the other shows and that whole thing. So so there's a smattering of celebratory things that will happen between now and then. And, you know, I'll try to keep things in check and uh but also have a glass of champagne in my hand at every opportunity. You know what I mean? Somewhere in there. Exactly. You know, kinda kinda calm calm the nerves a little bit. Yes, You're like exactly. you know, this this is a lot. Like, you know, this yeah. is the first one that we're back in, you know, in person yes. with and everything. Yes. Like there's a there's gonna be a lot going on. Like every yeah. now and then you're like, I just need a sip. Exactly. Social and then we can move like forward. through the roof these days. Gotta <laughs> remind myself how to have conversations with people. <laughs> um now, you know, as as we said, this is your your third um, daytime Emmy nomination. Mm-hmm. Uh, what would it mean to you to actually hear and the winner of the daytime Emmy mm. lead actress award goes to Marcy Miller? Ooh, I, like, I, what? I felt that just now, even right now, when you just said that, I was like, "Ooh, he's setting this up so nice." Ooh, yeah, he, yeah. Up. Um, yeah, I think this would be an especially poignant, uh, meaningful year for me. I, the work that I was doing, uh, you know, 
they were in the middle of the pandemic. We had all kinds of crazy things going on in our life. And my daughter was in my stomach, you know? So yeah, like we sort yeah. of joked around our house, like, if, if, if you're ever going to win the, day, the Emmy, it's this year because those pregnancy hormones are like a thing, you know? And <laughs> so it's like, what, what, what do you get when you cross a soap actor in a pandemic and uh, <laughs> yeah, a bunch of pregnancy hormones? Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that, that would be really, really cool because it feels like, I didn't just do it by myself. Like she, it was like she and I did it in a yeah. way, you know? Yeah. Oh, that, that, that would be such a beautiful moment to, to, to win this and then to be able to show her and then have her realize, like, I was there in those yeah, you moments there. with yeah. you. You know Every what I mean? Like, one. yeah, I was yeah. wondering how you were going to turn out because you were there for all those moments <laughs> and thank God you're healthy and okay. <laughs> it was like I'm, crazy I'm, emotional. I'm, I'm sure at one point she was laying in there like, jeez, what is going on out there? <laughs> I did. And I remember feeling super neurotic because they'd have these moments where you're like, bah, 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 and then I felt like I needed to switch, you know, I needed to like consistently get out of that heavy emotional territory and be like, okay, ha, 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 so funny, ha, 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 It's like, no don't worry, you know, yes, mommy's just acting. Right. I'll tell you about that when you come out. Yeah, like, it's fine. Pretend. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Baby shark. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Sal played that for her yesterday while we were shopping for, and she had never seen it for the first time. The child was like kicking so hard. Her feet were like practically hit. Anyway, it's just funny that you brought that song up because Auntie Sal introduced it to her yesterday. I love that. Well, when, when I finally get to meet her, uh, mm -hmm. I will introduce her to Beyonce. Ooh, and that's good. I, I'll save yeah. that for you. I'll save yeah. that for you. And uh, and I think she'll she'll greatly appreciate it. I think uh, I think you may have, you know, after, you know, Uncle Tony comes in, uh, uh -huh. you know, it's going to be like, oh, I uh -huh. can be fierce and fabulous, too. Uh -huh. Yeah, we I, got it. I we got it. Love it. Yes. Let's make this happen, please. <laughs> well, Marcy, as always, it is always such a pleasure to sit down and chat with you. Uh, we're all so happy and ecstatic uh, for your Emmy nomination. And we really, 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 really hope. And we're putting out it in the universe and we're crossing our fingers and we're praying and we're holding crystals to moonlight <laughs> and everything uh, that you walk away with, with a well-deserved uh, Emmy uh, because as I said, you're, you're super talented and, and the work that you've done is, as Abigail has been recognized, but now it should be rewarded. So we're, we're definitely rooting for you. Thank you. You're so awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. Oh. Oh, thank you. And we love you. And thank you guys uh, for tuning in and make sure you watch the Daytime Emmys live on June 24th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on CBS and Paramount+. Plus. Until then, we will see you guys next time as we continue Emmy Week here at Dish and Days. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.